Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brooke. I'm a homeschool mom of seven. This is my fourth year homeschooling, but my first year trying out this treasure box gift or prize idea. I wanted to do something similar to this a couple years ago. I just never got around to doing it and decided to go ahead and do it this year. I have a five-year-old who is in kindergarten this year. The age range that I am doing these prizes for are 10 all the way down to my two-year-old. My 17-year-old and my 14-year-old obviously aren't gonna wanna do something like this. So everything I got for this treasure box is on Amazon, including the treasure box itself. So let's go ahead and show you guys what I got. Here's a treasure box that I got from Amazon. It's just a plastic box. It's a pretty good size. I think that it's going to hold everything that I got. And if not, then I can just pack up the extras until we run out of, until we have more room in here. But it's just a plastic box. It doesn't have a lock. If I wanted to, we could probably get uh, drill holes in here and get a lock if, if I really wanted to. One of the boxes that I got was this fidget poppers pack. It has a bunch of different fidget toys in it. Comes with this little pop it butterfly, kind of cool. This dinosaur and it comes with a unicorn pop it. My 17 year old was actually looking at this and like really liking it. This box was a hit. We showed all the all the boys all of these things and this box, this fidget box, was a huge hit. One of these little things. They liked these too. There's like a marble in it. And it's like this little mesh thing, just I guess to keep their hands busy. This one is my eight-year-old's and then my 10-year-old picked the green one. I just wanted to borrow it to show you guys. So that's the fidget box. There's a bunch of really cool stuff in there. That's probably the most favorite that they like so far. I got a pack of these pins. There were three of them in here and they are like lava lamp pins. This is what it looks like. It's just a pin. Turn it. But it's just this. They really like these ones too. They're kind of cool. You see how long they last though. I got a box of this mini plush animals. My boys are obsessed with plushies and animals. They collect them. They collect all of them. The Huggy Wuggies, the Mario and Luigi, all of those. They collect all those animals. And so I thought this would be a good idea and small enough to fit inside the treasure box. Here's a few examples. They're super soft and super cute. This little puppy is adorable. Because it's Halloween, I got a box of these little Halloween figures, squishies that you can squeeze. Super adorable. And I thought because Halloween's coming up, it'd be good to have something like that. Then I got these little wind up Halloween toys, little plastic toys a little ghost and a little jack-o'-lantern one. They're super cute. Then I got these. Now, my kids are obsessed with these, like I said, so this, I'm going to take them all out of this bag and put them in there, but it's a bunch of little cats. Sorry if you hear my two-year-old, he's upstairs with his brothers being loud. These are super cute. I don't remember how many came in this bag, but it's a, it's full of them. All, all different kitties. This is my favorite so far that I like out of everything I got. This is a huge box of erasers. There are 140 eraser, piece erasers in here. So I'll show you guys an example of the ones I got. I took out some out of this box. This is a little donut. They're all, they all come individually wrapped. We opened one of them. Here's like a, a little pink donut. My son, my eight year old loves this one, but the top, like you can take it off apart. Take it off there. If I can snap it back on. There you go, snapped it back on. That's super cute. There's a little pumpkin, an ice cream cone. I think that's an ice cream cone. Or at least a bowl. Oh, there's something green on top. I don't know exactly what that is. A little strawberry. 
There's a pitcher's mitt with a little red ball. Bowling pins with a bowling ball. A bowl of chicken and looks like some kind of food. There's a sandwich. There's a Santa. A football. A guitar, electric guitar. But that was cute. There's a crab. Little spaceman. Pair of pliers, bananas, spaceship, or a, a jet, I guess, plane. A little boom box, super cute. I don't know if you can see if it's super adorable. I think this is some strawberry type of pie. There's a truck. So there are tons. I absolutely loved the erasers. There's so many cool erasers in there. And I think that, I don't know, that's my favorite thing. Because it's Halloween season and we're getting there, I went ahead and I got these Halloween ring pops. I got two bags of, I think they're how many? 12 counts in here. Um, some of the kids already chose one, so I'm gonna see three, I think. Four, four of them picked one, so we're missing four out of that. But these I got. And then I saw on someone else's YouTube video, these Yum Earth Pops, organic Yum Earth Pops. So, I don't know. They're gluten-free, allergy-friendly. I don't know, I just thought, I mean, out of everything that's going to be in this treasure chest, I, I honestly think the candy's gonna be not as important as everything else, but we'll see. So I got two different reward chart systems going on for my kids. For my five-year-old and my two-year-old, I got these little treasure hunt cards that have these little circles. There's like 19 circles. They will have all week up until, from Monday up until Friday to get stickers. Here are some stickers, what the sticker coins look like. So once they fill it up, they will get to choose a prize on Friday out of the treasure chest. For my 10 year olds and my eight year old, I got this little punch card system. There are a ton in here. It's got 10, 
10 slots or 10 numbers that we can punch, use these to punch. This came with it. So once they fill this up, same kind of idea, Monday through Friday, once they get it all filled up Friday, they can choose something out of the treasure box. I also have an entire whiteboard that has their schedules on it. So all of these, the sticker chart and the punch card is all going to be through their schedule and their chore list that they have every single day of the week. Maybe I'll do another video that has to do with my chore chart that I have or my chore list that I have going on on my whiteboard and show you guys what we're doing there. But that'll be another video that I do. This is about how full I got it pretty much over the brim, but thankfully the lid closes. The rest of the stuff that didn't fit, I'm just gonna pack away for later. So yeah, I think it, it kind of worked out perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I will link everything that I purchased in this video down below for you guys if you're interested. And if you liked this video or you wanna follow our family, don't forget to like and subscribe. My next video is going to be all about our homeschool curriculum for the 2023-2024 school year. So stay tuned for that video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.